My name is Chris, and this is an instructional video that will demonstrate how to use VMware Workstation to install Windows 2000 Server. So, to begin with, we're going to go up to File, click New Virtual Machine. Now, we're going to click on the Next button, and we want to make sure we have Installer Disk Image File selected, and then click Browse. Now, you need to locate where your Windows 2000 server ISO image is located at. Select it and click Open. Now, VMware Workstation should automatically detect that this is a Windows 2000 server installation ISO, and it will install it using the Easy Install program, which, once we set up the virtual machine, it will automatically install the entire operating system completely independently. You will not have to punch in any further inputs to get it to install. So we're going to finish setting up the virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and hit next and that's going to ask for the Windows product key, your name, and if you want one, a password. Now I can't actually show you the CD key, so I'm just going to skip the video ahead to the next portion. Now that the CD key has been entered and we've hit next, it's going to ask what the name of the virtual machine is and where you want to install that. We're just going to leave these as the default options and hit next. Now it's going to ask how much hard drive space you want reserved for this virtual machine. I'm going to bump this up to 15 just because I have a 500 gig hard drive. And I want to make sure that I have enough room for the operating system and the program that I'm going to install on it. So I'm going to hit next. We're not going to customize any of the hardware. All of the defaults are going to be good enough. So we'll just hit finish. And now easy install is going to install the entire operating system automatically. So now that the installation process has been completed, it's asking us to log in. Now, because we're using VMware Workstation, we cannot just press Alt-Control-Delete to log in because that's going to be Alt-Control-Delete carries over to your main machine too, so it'll t kick us out. So what we want to do is press Alt-Control-Insert. And that will function as pressing Control Alt Delete inside your workstation. So from here, we're just going to hit Enter because there is no password yet on the login. And it's going to install VMware tools, restart the server, and load it back up. My name is Chris, and this has been an instructional video demonstrating how to install the Windows 2000 Advanced Server Operating System using VMware Workstation's Easy Install. I hope you enjoyed watching, and that the information provided will be of use to you.